for a rough outing. They are not swinging the bat well, and this guy is throwing the ball exceptionally well. On the season, this so many of them. It's the fastball slider and curve that the foundation is about. And as the curveball so far, but with the cool weather, and I should say cold weather, and then when the long trip where he wants it yet. His 2-1 to Eddie Julian is at the top of the zone for a strike, and it's 2-2. Two two. Holy cow, how does anybody ever touch this guy? A fastball gets Julian looking. Five. One away in the first inning, and Carlos Correa climbs in. That is the first pitch slider for ball. Threw it again, got the call there. One ball, one strike. This ball is wide. One and two. Here comes the one two pitch. It is curveball. Up. If you're struggling against the same, that should help him. Glass now deals. Shot to center field. James Altman is there for the second out. Base is empty, two out. And Alex Kirilov's the hitter. He swats one to left field, and there is that quick inning on the first pitch. Kirilov flies out to left field, and Tyler Glass now has got a 24 to be the guy he wants to be. And the guy the Dodgers envision him being. You look at the total innings that he had, but they feel like he's reached a point in his health and in his career where he can be that guy. It's lofted down the right field line. It'll peel out of play. Beers. Yeah. 0-2 oh, to Buxton. A fastball just explodes by him. Clean Twins lineup. If he hits a stride like that, it's a scary proposition. This ball's in left center field for Chris Taylor. Hooked it off the end of the bat. Two up and two down. That's just a little slide. This franchise has been around since 1901. Four years of uh, Twins baseball through eight games. Comes home with a 1 1 pitch. That's a fastball by Walner, and it's 1 and 2. Time around the order, I have it. Doesn't look like that's a target for it. Oh, it was, was the curve. Well, Will Smith kind of going to get him on the plate with it. See what he goes with on 2 2. It is back to the fastball, and good night. Six up and six down. Score bottom three. And the bottom of the Twins order coming up with Willie Castro following off his first pitch. It's a good lineup to get Jacks against on the only offense and El Bencho for him. Bouncing ball foul. You had Paxton finish off. The 0 2. Got him with a fastball. Strike. One away for Ryan Jeffers. Jeffers gets up on top of this one, hits it in the air to center field, but just missed it. And it's Outman. The pattern continues for his first career hit. Yeah, that sliders away, ball one. Let's get six, seven pitches per at bat. Maybe somebody will get 10 or 12 one time. And then we'll get him out of the game. But at this, and that's at least. Sheesh. He is just overpowering. Here he comes with a 1 2. And way outside this time with a curve. The kind of stuff that jumps out, <laughs> and my eyes are closed. That's so. It doesn't matter. Another curve, flex into center field. Altman lays out, can't get it. Austin Martin's first career hit is a double against Tyler Glass now. Offense so far, right away. Twins have a chance to take the lead here. Eddie Julian takes ball one from Glass now. Is it not the best time to see the base? Julian can't lay off, and it's one and two. It was up, but still broke sharp. Fastball explodes by Julian for strike three. Twin Glass now back to the mound where he has dominated through three innings. Just one hit against him, and he flames a fastball in there to Carlos. Zero, three, nothing. No and two. And James said he's skewed because this is all there is there. A chase. Got off the glove of Smith, recovers it, and throws in the two games. Alex Kirilov flied out on the first pitch that he saw his first time. He 
take this one in really well. Kirilov hitting 370 coming in. Years of dealing with a wrist issue for him. Multiple surgeries to get rid of the pain in that wrist. The one two from Glass now. Sticks with that same pitch, cutting it out into the swing for sure. At the end. 93 94 slider. Yeah. 92 slider. Buxton struck out his first time, bullied him with fastballs. Ball and a strike as he misses with. Not even up two and two. This is hard. Got him with the slider. Strikes out the side in the full. And by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Tyler Glass now delivers down and away to hold. Oh, for sure. He's throwing more strikes after the first pitch than he has on to that. He's about 75, 80% after that. Just coming after him equation out of in a, out of control for a pitcher when it's going bad it can spiral that out of control had a little altitude to it that it would just ended up wide that is his first strikeout out of the nine on that pitch from James Alman in center field couldn't quite come up with it back in the third inning fastball whistles by Walner one Glass now back downhill with a one two. It's hacked down the left field line. Foul. And poor Matt Walner, who is with Correa. <laughs> Absolute domination and a six. The only two guys in this order that haven't struck out yet are the who's got the hit. The one oh pitch. It's a rare two and oh count. We're allowed to whip. Back in there, three and one. Oh, what a pick by Max Muncy. Wide throw, but Freeman spears it. Oh. I got the over that this won't end up being his high either, and it might be in this game, or it might be later in the year for sure. I think. Ten of them through five of that pitch count still very much under control. That's just his 63rd pitch of the night. Now talking with the pitching coaches and people around the dot, if he strings together a bunch of those innings, that we're seeing tonight. A knee buckling curve lands for strike three. The pitching coaches Dave Roberts actually addressed this earlier about Tyler Glass now said the only thing they've been missing from him this season and yes it's early in his but they've been wanting to see him just be more effective throughout the entirety of his outing and his outing against the Giants in that sixth inning he was able the Giants but that one was legit down the line back to the top Eddie Julian grounds it foul once he would have had to make another play. Julian has struck out both his times up. Ball and a strike on him. Rat. You really feel like you've given your team a chance out. Here's 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two two. Got it off of the hands. Weekly to Freeman who feeds Glass now. Up to third goes Austin Martin with six K's. Off the end of the bat foul. 71. Here's his 01. Swing and a miss. Perfect pitch. On an 02 goes back to the fastball and strikes him out. It's Bottom of the seventh, Alex Kirilov taking strike one from Glass now. These are the finishing on the year with that fastball, and it is pretty much unhittable right now. The league hitting about just barely over 100 on it. 0 oh, 2 to Alex Kirilov. He wants to check some boxes early in the season. Bouncing ball to second, easy one for Gavin Lux, one away in the seventh. You know, checking, making sure he's healthy and in a good place. 
for October. Cuts it to the corner for a strike on Buxton. Broken bat, base hit in the center field for Buxton. Big time strength. The bat gives way for Jose Miranda, who's looking for his first hit of the season with the Twins, just his second game. Came up yesterday. Got Wally pipped by the time he was healthy and ready to come back. There were other guys that kind of passed him on the prospect depth chart. First visit from Will Smith. And a fastball follows it, two and one. Two and two. And now home of the 2 2 to get his 13th strikeout of the game. One. And now Matt Walner, who has struck out looking both times, swings and misses. This is who Tyron got the call. 0 oh 2. Here he comes and strikes him out. Tyler Glass now overwhelmed. <laughs> Thank you.